Hey guys, Simon here from Simon Says Cycling. Today I'm going to show you how to use Training Peaks with Zwift. There are many training apps out there these days, but for me personally, my preferred way to train indoors is with Zwift. And part of the reason is how easy it works with Training Peaks. So today I'm going to show you how to automatically have your training session for the day that appears in Training Peaks in Zwift and some of the things you can use while in the app to improve your training session. So first off, when you look at Training Peaks, you want to make sure your training session that you want to sync is in the Workout Builder format. So that's with the blue bars, as you can see. If it's in the old format of Training Peaks, where it's purely instruction, that will not work with Zwift. So it has to be in this format with the Workout Builder. As you can see, the training session is designed in blocks, and each block has a specific power target and sometimes cadence and, and all of that. So that's number one. Secondly, you also want to make sure that your FTP, right now you can see mine is set at three or five in Training Peaks, matches the same in Zwift. So you want to make sure that those are both the same. Otherwise, you're going to have a different intensity once it's automatically put into Zwift. The next step is to log into Zwift.com into your account and make sure that your connections are here connected with Training Peaks. So make sure Zwift is connected with Training Peaks. That's going to also help you automatically upload training sessions to Training Peaks as well as put the daily session into your account. So that's very important. That's the next step. The next step is to connect your trainer in Zwift. So open up the Zwift app on your computer, on your iPad, or on your phone. Press OK once connected to your smart trainer. Here you're going to see a tab called training, a button called training. Scroll down to the bottom, and here you're going to see Training Peaks Custom Workout. Select the workout. Here you'll see the details to the right of the workout. Your FTP here should match your FTP in Training Peaks. Here you have the option to select erg mode or non-erg mode. I like to start in erg mode, but sometimes I'll switch it off, and I'll talk about that in a second. Next, you're going to hit workout. You can choose where you want to ride. Here, you always have the option to ride in Watopia, and here there will be a different course depending on the day. So choose where you prefer to ride, and then you're going to hit ride. Once the ride starts, the Zwift app will take you through the training session from start to finish. So what you're going to see in the next screen is you riding here. And here is a breakdown of the session. So here it's going to show you the warm-up, how long you need to warm up. Here it's going to show you the breakdown of the session, 15-minute warm-up, and then the power progression as you go through the training session. You will see heart rate and cadence if you've connected those devices. And you're going to see your power here. And here's the power target. You're also going to see a progression of your workout over here. You also have a second app offered by Zwift called the Zwift Companion app. This is a blue app that you'll download to your phone. This will app will give you the options to enter events, enter races, give people ride-ons, and many other features. When you do a specific workout, I like to use this app in particular to sometimes change the different settings and also jump forward. So once you start your custom workout, you're going to see the screen here, the one, the third one from the left. If you want to jump forward while you're riding, for example, sometimes the training session may have a 20 minute warm up, but maybe I only want to warm up for 10 minutes. Maybe I'm limited with time. So what I'm going to do here is swipe to the right and that's going to jump forward to the next segment of the workout. In this app, you can also change whether you want to ride erg mode or slope mode. When you press the button here where it says erg mode, it'll revert to slope mode. Slope mode will give you an option to increase the slope or decrease the slope. I feel that slope mode is actually harder than erg mode. And personally, I think for a better workout, you're going to get a better session if you use slope mode more often than you use erg mode. Erg mode works well if you're just doing a steady session without many changes in pace. But if you have some very specific intervals, high intensity intervals, shorter intervals, I like to switch off erg mode and I can do that right here in the app. And sometimes I'll switch back and forth depending on 
the session. You can also pause your training here and you can also increase the bias here. So if you are using erg mode and it just feels way too easy and maybe your target is 200 watts, here you can increase the percentage, the bias, and that's going to increase the erg mode power by whatever percentage you select. Here you're also going to see the breakdown of your training session and you can also change your view here. So if you scroll to the right, you can't see it here, but you can change. It looks like a, a little bit like an eyeball. You can hit that button and that can change how you see the road, how your little avatar sees the road, whether you see him riding, whether it's like you're in the app or from the back, from the top and so on. So that's what you can play around depending on the view you prefer. So there you have it. Those are my best tips on how to use Training Peaks with Swift. Please leave a comment, please share, please let me know any other tips and tricks that you have that can improve the experience for all of us. Thanks for watching.